Right, now we need to form the motor that it's working from three phase and it's actually only on a single phase. So I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, cheers. You know what that was? That was my Amazon delivery. Let's have a look. One minute. I'm not going to lie, this seems quite small. Look oh. at them capacitors there. Eh? Look at them. That is the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle. So, we get that to there. These, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need yet. So, but we've got those. If you look on them, they are 7 UF. Uh, 7 UF. <clears throat> so, 7, 14, 28. 28 UF in total. I think that will be enough. Well, not 100%, but hopefully it will. Right, so let's go. <clears throat> That's going to go to the switch. There's an earth there that I am going to figure out a way of putting in. The circuit that I know doesn't actually show an earth, but I'll just feel better if there is one, you know. Okay, so we've got that there. Um, I'll take this brown one. Right, okay. So we've got that. Going in and out of the dimmer. Now we need a lot of bloody wires on them things. So what we've got at the moment, <clears throat> we've got the mains power comes in through here, regulated by a dimmer switch. Then it comes out, there's your first live there. <clears throat> that will go off into the motor, come back through the blue one, but this old blue one will also go to this capacitor, which will deliver more electricity out of, out of phase down this one so when we wire the motor it'll be brown blue and black and there are your three phases all being well that will work Just need to prep the end of this wire now Now, this blue here that comes goes off to the capacitor, you can put that there or there, depending on which way you want the motor to turn. I 
and then what we'll do is the earths for now we'll just twist those together now i don't think for one minute that this little capacitor is going to be enough to pay this motor but i'm going to give it a go anyway just for the sake of experimentation so let's plug it in and see where we go If you can see, I'll just move this camera around. Try and get the motor and the switch. When I turn this switch, you can hear it trying, but it's not quite got the power to do it. That's because we need more capacitors. So, very important this, very important. Plug that out. And we'll put some more, we'll try another couple of capacitors on there. This is it, the final test of the wiring of this motor. All good, I switched it on and no one died. Right, okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we've got it. Okay, so there you go, that is the way to wire a three-phase motor into the mains. I'm going to tidy this whole thing up and make it a little bit more um, less dangerous and then I'll cut back and we'll talk about what we're going to do with it next. So now I've tidied it all up a bit and that's what it is now. So here we go, I've put some markings on the demo now. Um, oh, no, there you go. So you give it, <laughs> gotta give it that extra bit of power just to get it going. And then we can turn it down to there, and it runs all fine. You can't stop it with your fingers. I mean, the torque there is perfectly okay so that's what we're gonna do to that's what we're gonna use to make our lathe so stay tuned right so I've just taken one capacitor off just because I felt it getting a little bit warm um, what happens happens is if I turn it on it's very slow it struggles to get started but then it will get going eventually so I know that three is enough to keep it running and maybe that will stop it overheating um, if you've got any suggestions for that, um, let me know in the comments. Like I say, this is all quite new to me, really. Um, what I don't want is this thing getting too hot. 
um, and not it doesn't really need that I don't think still got that torque there so just let me know